Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back for another weekly plan with me in my Simplified Daily Planner. This is going to be for the week of May 18th to the 24th. And if you watched my video last week, this is gonna be a little bit different. I am going to be using the daily labels that are actually designed for the Hobonichi Cousin that are in our Etsy shop this week. If you watched last week, I basically just went through and added some scripts and a couple of extra little stickers here and there. I actually thought I had another one of these already made for this upcoming week and I don't yet, but I wanted to go ahead and film. So I'm not going to be using the mainly the ones that I don't have enough of are um, this little section here. So the AM routine, PM routine, and then top three. There are other ones on here that I'm going to go ahead and use during this, but I will need to go back in and do those later. But I figured I could go ahead and get started. This is one that it was from the 2019, I believe it was for June. And I thought the colors went really well with these simplified colors. The green is the same, the navy, and then the pink is pretty close. So I wouldn't necessarily need to make sure that the colors match, but sometimes it's fun to be a little bit matchy matchy. And then I'm just going to quickly write in. And then I wanted to test out, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom really fast. And these are just a touch longer than these two solid lines. And so they hang over on either side just a little bit, but really it's not too bad. What I wanted to try is to see if these check boxes that are actually designed for the Hobonichi Cousin fit in this Simplified. And they do, that's exciting. So if you wanted to kind of match everything up, this is obviously an extra step. Okay, so then there's that one down there, but you get the idea of how that would work if you wanted to use them, or maybe you could just use them for your top five priorities, or you could even kind of rip it and make it your top three to kind of help those stand out a little bit more. Actually, that sounds like something I might want to do for this week, just to give it a little bit of extra color. But I think what I will do instead is go ahead and just cut them. So I'm gonna have one for each day. Okay, and then I won't have to tear it. Just go through, and like I said, extra steps here, but it will make it extra fun. Okay, so I don't really have anything to write down for Monday, so I'm gonna flip over and do Tuesday here quickly. And these are removable in case, it's hard to line it up straight since you're not actually going against that line. I suppose you could, let's see, if I went, no, because that flag is gonna peek out the top. Okay, and that's not perfect, but it's gonna be close enough. I like to match up the strips at the bottom, but you could mix it up too if you wanted. So then flipping to Wednesday, I think this one is my favorite design with those big beautiful flowers on top and then the stripes, not quite happy stripes, but close, right? Then I'll put this one down at the bottom again. And this just helps to kind of tie in the color. And then for Thursday, this one is fun. It has little polka dots. This was one of my favorites from 2019. I love big, beautiful florals. So then I actually do have something to put down on Thursday. And I wanted to see how my little appointment labels worked. So I'm going to put this, this is actually, I want it to be kind of like this, in between the four and the six. So this is our chiropractor appointment. So I'm gonna put it like that. I do have skinnier ones and then fatter ones too for more blocks of time. I'm curious to see how those work. I haven't tried them. Okay, so this was from the other plan with me that I just filmed. The skinny one works just about perfect in one hour. And then the larger ones work just about perfect in two hours. So they do cover up the lines just a little bit, but the spacing is very consistent with how the spacing is in the Hobonichi Cousin. So one hour, about an hour and a half, and then two hours. And again, they are removable, which I cannot 
live without removable stickers. I mean, I could, obviously. I do not own any undo. I've seen people use it with really good results. I just don't have time for that. So I'm excited that I can use those in here if I decide to sticker it up a little bit more. And then at flipping to Friday, we have some special things going on Friday. It is payday and then also new releases. So I think I'm going to use the pink for new releases and those usually go live right at seven my time. I am central standard time, right smack dab in the middle of the country. I live in Kansas. And then maybe since it's payday, I will do like this little green dot just right here. And then did I do my three checklist on Thursday? I did. So let me go ahead and do that here. I would love to know how things are going in your state or country, um, depending on where you live. We were supposed to go into phase two of our plan on the Monday of this plan of me, so the 18th. And we just got word that we are getting everything pushed back two more weeks. I'm starting to wonder about our summer camp. Um, if you have been following along, you might remember last year at our summer camp is actually when I had our daughter. We actually had to leave um, earlier than <laughs> expected uh, because I went into labor early. And we are directors at a summer camp. And it's in the middle of July. And I thought, I mean, we've been planning like normal for everything. But I'm wondering if we're not either not going to be able to have it or if we're gonna have to do things crazy, crazy different than normal. I'm not really sure. So that will be interesting. Definitely interesting to see how that all shapes up. I'm going to use that for church, but I don't have a little church sticker that normally goes right there. So I think that's all that I'm gonna do here on camera for you. As I said earlier, I am just gonna print off another one of these for my week. I hope you all are staying safe and staying sane <laughs> as things kind of get maybe a little bit more normal. It'll be interesting to see how the rest of the summer goes for sure. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.